In this video, we're going to solve an absolute value equation where you already have just an absolute value. So this absolute value is what I would say is isolated. It's alone. It's by itself. And this uses the concept of absolute value in that, you know, there's two ways that you could actually, or two numbers that you could get out um, of this x plus 6 to get you a 41. That, and again, what that means is that the absolute value of 41 is going to be 41. So this x plus 6 inside, this x plus 6 could inside could either equal 41, or since the absolute value of negative 41 is also 41, then that stuff inside, that x plus 6, could equal a negative 41. And from there, then we just go ahead and solve each of those equations, and that's how you end up with two answers. Now, again, this is already an only an absolute value expression on the left side, so there's, you can go straight into two separate equations. Um, if there was other stuff around this absolute value, you would have to get rid of it by undoing it first. Another thing to note is that the x plus 6 stays as x plus 6 in both of these equations. That does not change the sign. Um, and also what happens is that these absolute value bars, they kind of go away, right? Once you turn it into two separate equations, those absolute value bars go away, and you just have your final steps to solve. So we're going to subtract 6 from both sides here, um, and you end up with x equals a 35. You can subtract 6 from both sides here as well, and you end up with x equals a negative 47. And so therefore, your two answers are x equals 35 and negative 47. Note that these values are not opposites. A lot of students sometimes just assume once they find 1, then you just automatically put negative 35. Uh, that is not the case, right? So you have to set up two separate equations, solve them both, the steps will be similar in order to be able to find your solution.